Good morning, everyone. My name is Ma Jun, and I'm a graduate student at Unifangzhou University. My scientific mentor is Igor Anatolievich, a doctor and a professor of economics. I'm going to introduce our paper, Problems and the Prospects of China's Transportation Transition to Sustainable Development. The paper is divided into five parts, Introduction, Literature Review, Methodology, Research, and Conclusion. The first part, Introduction. After entering the 21st century, the happy development of the urban economy and the acceleration of urbanization process, the demand for transportation have risen sharply. No matter the urban spatial pattern, traffic optation characteristics, all residence activities and travel methods have undergone tremendous changes entering a new development period. With the heartbeat development of the national economy, the entire transportation system has achieved unprecedented heartbeat development. But the incipient traffic pollution problem has become one of the main factors that contract urban development. This paper analyzes the current situation of China's transportation and finds out the reasons that restrict its sustainable development. In response to these issues, suggestions were made from five aspects policy support, technological innovation, fiscal and taxation policies, transportation structure optimization, and the public transportation system construction. In order to achieve all around the sustainable development goals of transportation, ecological environment, resource utilization, supply and demand balance, economic development, and social stability. The second part, literature review. This paper is inspired by Igor Anatolievich's fiscal instrument for regulation the sustainable development of urban transport system in Russia and the analysis of transport tax system in the People's Republic of China. It's guided by the idea of sustainable development to analyze the problems of China's transportation. The third part, methodology. This paper uses comparative analysis and other methods using data from the government and state administration of taxation, combining theory with practice, analyze the current situation of China's transportation. Then the part for research. In terms of energy, according to China's general administration come terms, in 2018, China became the world's largest crude oil input. By 2020, China's crude oil inputs reached 543.9 million tons. Among them, because of the fastest growth in the demand for oil from transportation, it has exceeded 60% of the total oil demand. The increase in resource consumption in the transportation system affects the sustainable development of cities. In terms of land resources, 
With the continuous increase in car ownership, the proportion of urban roads will further increase, and the lack of roads and parking space will become an important problem. Increased urban car ownership will make scarce urban land even scarcer, and will restrict other land use and industrial development. In terms of environmental pollution, with enjoying the benefits brought by the development of transportation, people have to suffer the negative effects it has brought. The data from World Health Organization shows that 9 out of 10 people breathe air containing high level of platelets. Safety is the eternal theme of transportation industry, and an important guarantee for promoting the comprehensive, coordinated, and sustainable development of the transportation industry. About 1.35 million people die in traffic accidents every year, and an average of 3,700 people die on roads every day. Traffic congestion is an important manifestation of transportation externality. Among the costs incurred by traffic congestion, the time loss is the main one. In addition, there are many times of braking and restarting to increase the amount of pollutants, and the loss of traffic accident caused by congestion. Another major impact of transportation activities on residents' lives is noise pollution. Related medical research shows that noise pollution will have a great impact on human health. Noise hazard has become the second killer of human public health after air pollution. In response to above problems, the following suggestions are made. The first one, scientifically plan the development of transportation. The second, optimize the transportation structure and promote the renal division of labor among different transportation modes. The third one, strengthen technological innovation and develop economical transportation tools. The fourth, with the help of physical and taxation policies, green transportation will be development. Finally, establish a developed urban public transportation system. Finally, the conclusion of this paper. Studying the problems and the prospects of transition from transportation to sustainable development has important practical significance for solving the entire transportation system. To achieve sustainable development of transportation can promote ecological environment, resource utilization, supply and demand balance, economic and financial, social and human needs from the sustainable development. The sustainable development of urban transportation system is an international and cutting-edge subject of current scientific development. Based on China's national conditions, this paper has conducted in-depth research on how urban comprehensive transportation can achieve sustainable development, with a view to applying it in practice and guiding the urban transportation system sustainable development. That's all. Thank you for your attention.